So um, here we need to explain the concept to find the general solution of a linear differential equation using integrating factor. So what do we mean by a linear differential equation? Uh, the rule is that a differential equation, differential equation of the form, a differential equation of the form dy by dx plus py that is equals to q where p and q where p and q are constants where p and q are constants or they are functions functions of x only is known as is known as a first order first order linear differential equation so an example of a linear differential equation is suppose we have dy by dx plus 1 by x log x into y that is equals to 1 by x so here we can see this is the function p. So it is a function of x. And this is also the function q, which is a function of x. So it is of the form dy by dx plus py equals to q. So hence it is also an example. So hence it is an example of a first order linear differential equation. So how to solve this? Uh, um, there is also another form of linear differential equation. We can also write like dx by dy. It means that we can replace x with y and y with x. We can replace them. Then dx by dy, that will be equal to p1y. That is equals to q. Sorry, this will be p1x. That is equals to q. Uh, sorry. So p1x, that is equals to q, where p is some function of y and q also is some function of y. Some example of this type of differential equation is uh, suppose we have dx by dy then plus minus 2 by y into x that is equals to y square e power minus y so here we can see that this is the this is the function p which is the function of y and this is also the function q which is also a function of y so this is also the second kind of linear differential equation so how to solve this this type of differential equation means how to find its general solution let us see that. So, so in order to solve, so in order to find the general solution, in order to find the general solution of the linear differential equation, which is dy by dx plus py, that is equals to q, where p and q are functions of x, we have to first multiply both sides by some function of x suppose say g of x first we need to first we need to need to multiply both sides by some function of x which is g of x say um, and we have to choose this g of x in such a way that this this right hand side should be some some derivative of y into g of x it means that suppose if we multiply both sides by g of x then we will get then we will get uh, that g of x into dy by dx plus p into g of x into y that is equals to q into g of x so here we need to we should choose 
you should choose the function g of x in such a way in such a way that the right hand side which is q into g of x that should be equal to some d by dx of y into g of x in this form it should come so then therefore this can be written as g of x into dy by dx plus p into g of x into y that is equals to d by dx of y into g of x since we have to choose g of x in this way only such that the right hand side should be the derivative of y dot y into g of x so then we can write it as g of x into dy by dx plus p into g of x into y that will be equal to um we can write it as <clears throat> g of x into dy by dx plus y into g dash x where g dash x is what where g dash x is nothing but the derivative of d by dx of g of x okay so then uh, these two will get cancelled and then we will get p into g of x into y so that will be equal to y into g dash x so then y and y will get cancelled and then we'll get p equals to g dash x by g of x <clears throat> And then we can integrate both sides actually. We can multiply with dx on both sides and then we can integrate. So integral p dx that is coming as this we can. So this g of x if you take it as t then g dash x dx will be equal to dt. So integral dt by t so that is log mod t. So this is log mod g of x plus c log mod g of x we can write so then therefore this g of x will be nothing but e power integral p dx so this g of x which is integral p dx this is called as the integrating factor if in short form it is written as if so it is nothing but the integrating factor okay so um So if we substitute this e power integral p dx, then here here in this equation, if we substitute this, then we will get therefore p into So then uh, actually so this is q into g of x that is d by dx of okay so if we put this put this g of x here in this equation then we will get uh, uh this is y so we can write it as this will be actually y into g of x that is equal to so it is d d of this that is equals to q into gx dx so therefore if we integrate both sides then we will get nothing but y g of x that is equal to integral q gx dx so therefore the final answer is this is y into e power integral p dx that is coming as integral q e power integral p dx dx plus c so simply this is the required general solution of the linear differential equation this is the required general solution of the linear differential equation which is of the form dy by dx plus py equals to q where p and q are functions of x
So we can also write it as y times the integrating factor, which is equal to integral of q times the integrating factor plus into dx plus c. Okay. So in the second case, suppose we have the differential equation, which is in this form, which is dx by dy plus p1 into x, that is equals to q1, where p1 and q1 are functions of y. q1 are functions of y. Then, uh, then the integrating factor in this case, that would be nothing but e power integral p1 dy. And the general solution will be and the general solution of this type of linear differential equation will be x, simply we have to replace y with x and x with y. So that would be x times the in x times the integrating factor that is equals to integral q1 times the integrating factor into dy plus c where integrating factor is this e power integral p1 dy okay so we can understand these concepts these formulas we will be able to understand through some solved examples thank you